Well, the New Year's kicked in fully now and the Christmas decorations are down and that means only one thing here at Mags Frags HQ. Lots of new fragrances to try out. And uh, finally, all the brand new 2024 releases are now starting to trickle through. And in today's episode, it's the turn of Italian fashion house Moschino to uh, give us their latest offering. The brand has once again made a bold statement with this latest release, which goes by the name of Toy 2 Pearl. Uh, true to its name, this fragrance is a treasure trove of innovative fragrant accords that perfectly capture the essence of summer freshness. But to find out all about it and whether it's worth picking up for yourself, stay tuned to this episode of Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again to all my fragrant friends out there and welcome back to Mags Frags, where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. My name's Paul and today's scent of the day is Moschino Toy 2 Pearl, which is a citrus aromatic fragrance for men and women. It comes in an eau de parfum concentration and it's available in three sizes, a 30ml bottle priced at £45, a 50ml at £65 and a 100ml bottle like this one at £85. I picked this one up from the perfume shop who seem to be the only outlet in the UK that are selling these at the moment. So I think they've got the exclusivity on it. So uh, the perfume, perfume shop is the only place you're going to find it um, at this moment in early January 2024. Okay, so into the presentation, and both the box and the bottle fall in line with Moschino's iconic, playful aesthetic. And starting with the box, which comes in a, this gorgeous iridescent finish with the gold branding. On the front is the name of the fragrance and the house uh, with the teddy bear motif and also the size and the concentration down at the bottom. At the top, there's uh, a metallic gold um, embossed Moschino logo and then down at the bottom we've got your barcode, your QR code and your batch code which is GM2304 on this particular one. Yeah the bottle design is a thing of beauty and a real treat to the eyes especially when you uh, see it up, up close and personal in real life. You might find the teddy bear design a little bit juvenile but I think it's fun and it certainly brightens up my collection. It's super weighty and it feels extremely well made when you've uh, got it in your hand. Uh, but the only negative is that it's a, a massive fingerprint magnet. So you may need to have a microfiber cloth at hand e uh, each time that you handle it. Uh, that's if that kind of thing bothers you uh, and you're a bit OCD like me. Sorry, Mr. Teddy, I am going to uh, have to decapitate you now. <laughs> so the cap is a plastic slide on design. So I wouldn't recommend that you pick it up by the head uh, because it definitely will fall out over time, especially once it, starts, once it starts collecting juice around the atomizer. The atomizer comes in a gold metallic uh, finish and delivers a really nice uh, smooth blast of juice. Okay, so into the note breakdown, and the top notes in this are lemon sorbet and oregano. In the heart, we've got sand, freesia, and jasmine. And the base notes are cypress, musk, and vetiver. Okay, so the opening of this is definitely the part that's going to divide opinions. And it starts out uh, with a super zesty burst of lemon sorbet, which is extremely bright and refreshing. However, the inclusion of the oregano note adds an unexpected twist, giving the introduction a, an aromatic, slightly herbal quality. So it's like a sour bitter lemon for the first five or ten minutes or so. And it's going to inevitably, uh, it's going to draw comparisons to a lemon scented bathroom cleaner or something of that nature. And to be honest, that's exactly what I got from it when I first sprayed it for the very first time, uh, because it does have a, a chemical synthetic uh, lemon thing going on uh, that may take a, a little bit of getting used to. But as it transitions through into the dry down, it reveals a much softer side. The heart notes are, are a masterful blend of sand, freesia and jasmine. The sand note is uh, unique and innovative and just gives you the feeling of a serene beach and blending seamlessly with the white floral elegance of the freesia and the jasmine. This combination creates a clean, soapy heart, reminiscent of fresh linen or a, a gentle sea breeze, providing a, a calming and like a soothing effect. After about the hour mark, once all the brightest notes have faded, the base notes of cypress, musk and vetiver come through to the forefront, grounding the fragrance with the depth and their warmth. The cypress contributes a, a fresh green aromatic quality, while the musk adds a, a subtle hint of dusty sweetness. 
Vetiver rounds out all the uh, the bass with its earthy and slightly smoky undertones, ensuring a, a fresh green aromatic ending that just lingers beautifully on the skin. Yeah, this is a very versatile fragrance that's ideal for summer days and nights. It's a scent that can seamlessly transition from uh, a casual day at the beach to an elegant evening out. I also don't think it leans either masculine or feminine, and it's pretty much a, a summer all-rounder and just perfect to pack in your suitcase if you're planning on jetting off to a hot country this summertime. Yeah, the performance on this seems to be decent enough for a freshie, although I've only given it one full wearing just around the house, uh, so it's a bit unfair to give a, a full opinion just yet, especially when we're still in the middle of winter. But on the one occasion that I did wear it all day yesterday, uh, the projection started out super strong for the first hour or so, uh, and I kept getting wafts of it for the, for the next three to four hours. Uh, but I would imagine it's uh, a much milder projection after that first hour once uh, the tart lemon disappears. Okay, so in summary, this is not one that I'd recommend that you just go straight online and blind buy uh, because it certainly won't be for everybody and it's a bit of a desired taste, I would say. I'd also say just try it out at your local store and uh, maybe wait a couple of months for it to hit the discounters. It's totally unique to anything that I've currently got sat in my collection and it's far from linear. It takes you on a journey from a zesty, playful opening through into a clean floral heart and uh, finally to a warm green aromatic finish. If that sounds like something that you'd normally wear, then I'm sure you'll really enjoy it. But for me, the jury is still out on it for now, uh, and it gets a 6 out of 10, but maybe that might rise to maybe a 7 or an 8 in the summertime. Okay, so once again, that's about it for this latest episode, but don't forget I'll be back very soon, bringing you loads more new releases as soon as I uh, can get my hands on them. But coming up in the next episode, I'll be t uh, talking about 12 low-cost order parfums, all from the same brand, which I think are the best value fragrances that money can buy. So you definitely don't want to miss that one. And as always, guys, if you've uh, got any value from this video and you found it useful in any way, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to also subscribe to the channel. It's also great to hear your opinions, your thoughts, your crit uh, critiques on all of the fragrances that feature in these reviews. So don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section and that helps with all the uh, algorithms and stuff. So once again, thank you very much for tuning into this latest episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.